Welcome to Perry Library's Zoom meeting on portfolio construction in the time of coronavirus. So many things have changed with this virus for all of us during this outbreak, but we're trying to adjust and bring you programming that will help you um, continue in a safe manner. So right now, um, I'm going to do a little live uh, commercial for the library, um, let you know that summer reading is going to be over uh, this on Saturday, 8-1. So get those last minute entries in so that you have a chance to win a, one of the six, um, six $25 gift cards to our local vendors. And thanks for helping us support local business. And then on um, Thursday, August 13th, we're gonna have Ginny Jelsing here with um, Lake County Prime, Crime Files. So she's gonna talk about the murderous Mrs. West and she's uh, from Perry itself and the curious case of kidnapping. So don't forget to join us for that. I'll send out some um, Facebook uh, announcements on that and I'll send out some emails for it, but it should be fun. But tonight I really wanna um, concentrate on what we're doing with the um, meeting for the portfolio construction in the time of coronavirus. Um, I've muted all the video and the audio. So if we welcome your questions. And if you have any questions, if you look at the bottom of your screen and move your mouse there, there's a chat function. So you just type in your question and our speaker will stop at various times throughout his presentation to answer those. So don't hesitate. We really welcome those questions. But tonight we have Patrick Armstrong here and he is with Westminster um, Financial. So um, he has a lot of good things to show us. So stay tuned while we change places. Thank you, Peggy. This is my first Zoom meeting, so uh, we're gonna do this by trial and error, but uh, let's get started. My uh, friends at Fidelity, folks I work with, uh, put a slide presentation together and it's portfolio construction in the time of coronavirus. The news flow is going to stay at best mixed for quite a while. We've heard a lot of different reports, um, depending on what news station to listen to, uh, good news, bad news, it's all over the place. Number of new cases is leveling off. A number of total cases and death is gonna rise further. And uh, first quarter profits uh, have been weak. Second quarter, most likely gonna be weak, weak, even more worse or weaker. As uh, you look at the airline industry, for example, they've um, really cut back on the number of people that let fly. So that's gonna really affect them going forward. Um, unemployment's gonna rise further. Uh, drop in economic output for the second quarter is gonna be unprecedented. We're gonna see this um, probably much worse in the third quarter. Uh, the, the equity markets usually do recover before the news flow gets better. Uh, finally, be aware that the market does not turn. When it sees a light at the end of the tunnel, it turns when it all looks black, but just a subtle shade of less black going forward. If you look on average, stock prices have bottom about two quarters before the earnings do. So you'll see the stock price go down. And then as the earnings report comes out, usually a couple periods later, you'll see that um, go down further. Uh, the elements uh, for the short-term uh, stability, uh, we have contact distancing, social distancing, contact tracing, uh, more testing going on, uh, monetary stimulus, fiscal stimulus, warmer weather, um, mitigate the loss of human lives and damage to the economy as a short term. Uh, long term solutions could be a vaccine, could be herd immunization, and successful treatments. <clears throat> the uncertainty could show up in a lot of different uh, areas. You could see um, the cases, depending on uh, the reports, could be very high, could be towards the middle, could even level off or go down a little bit. If we look at uh, February 19th, that's kind of the last of the, uh, the good market. And then we see quite a dip there. 
uh, three things that were going to that could happen. You could see a V recovery, where uh, we get better and uh, the market does well. We could see um, the market flatten out and just go straight for a long time as earnings slow down and things go down. Uh, it might just flatten out here, or we may see a second wave and the market may even uh, go down further here. <clears throat> If you look at some of the, uh, the long-term outlook, uh, looks a bit more promising from the historical perspective. If you look back, uh, going back to 1953, uh, January, it took through uh, September of 53, the market declined 14%, uh, was a recession, yes. And the, the next 250 days from there, the market was up 37.7%. So if you kind of ride out this uh, downturn, uh, it should be good further on down the road. Oh, we haven't, uh, we haven't admitted Shelby yet. It might make sense to have uh, three men, uh, three elements in your portfolio uh, that help can address the possible scenarios. You can have an offensive uh, strategy, you can have an income strategy, you can have a defense strategy. If you have an offensive strategy, you're gonna be a little more risky with what you do. Uh, you're gonna take advantage of um, some of the dips. Um, you're gonna look at international, you're gonna look at uh, US large growth. If you have an income, investments, you're pretty much going to ride it out pretty safe. Your money's not going to grow much, but it's not going to go down much. If you have a uh, defensive um, risk, then you're going to look at core bonds. You're going to look at because um, um, the equities may drop further. Other defensive areas could be utilities, could be consumer goods, could be um, discretionary goods. Year to date, this is exa an example of uh, the losses. Uh, the top line at the US aggregate is more of a, um, a bond portfolio and that pretty much stayed pretty level. If you do a mix of the S&P 500 and the uh, US aggregate, which is the bond portfolio, it uh, dipped a little bit, but it didn't dip as much as if you had a full S&P 500. You can have an active approach or you can have a, a passive approach. And uh, they, they vary depending on how this um, market comes. But if you look at active approach usually wins um, when we run into these situations. Uh, there are some passive approaches that are down, but more than not, the uh, active approaches have worked out pretty well. Active management has done well so far in, in the 2020 volatility. Uh, the active winners are the um, emerging markets, equities, uh, U.S. small caps, and uh, the uh, uh, domestic markets, ex-U.S. And what that would be are countries like Japan, companies like Germany, companies like France. Uh, um, what has not done so well, so well are the U.S. large caps and the U.S. mid caps. Uh, active outperformance in equities appears to be likely to continue. Um, when you look at this, the Russell 2000 versus the Russell 1000. The Russell 1000, which is the red bar, is the, um, the top 1000 stocks. And uh, that was only down 15%, where the bottom 2000 was down 39%. And again, strategies to, cons to consider, uh, we have offensive investments, which would be growth opportunities, uh, new insights with a, it's a growth fund. We have international uh, capital appreciation uh, and technology has done well through this. Income investments would be strategic income, which is made up of bonds, high income, which is high yield bonds, uh, real estate income, which is made of real estate and uh, high dividends. 
defensive would be uh, low volatility, which your uh, bonds, uh, healthcare would do well, uh, total return bonds would do well, uh, again, bonds would do well, and municipal income would do well. And we'll see if we have any questions. No questions at this point? You'd hit the chat button at the bottom if you had questions. Now, how do I unmute that? Does this strike as? It's uh, these times in the market are never is uh, the question is, uh, does this strike you as a scary time? Uh, these times in the market are never fun. Uh, you see a lot of ups and downs. You see a lot of bad news. Um, but we do, we always come out of these and uh, the market always goes to a higher. So it's kind of, you you want to ride this out kind of like sitting through a bad winter storm. And at some point uh, things will get better for us. Um, I've seen down markets. I've, I've seen uh, bear markets. I've, I've been in the, the business for over 30 years. I saw the crash of 87, the dot-com bomb of uh, 2000, and a lot of other things. So you just kind of ride those out and the market does eventually come back. Uh, what should you watch for? Uh, the, the word signal. Uh, and just uh, I kind of watch for things to get uh, a little bit better. Um, you might want to start with um, investing just a little bit of what you want to, to invest. For example, if you had uh, $10,000, you might want to start with uh, $2,000 and just put a little bit in at this time. Uh, wait a number of months, three, four months, and see how the market reacts and then put a little more in and then continue that strategy till you're all invested. All right, I'm gonna turn the meeting back over to Peggy. I wanna thank you very much for your time. Again, thanks for um, tuning in with us tonight. Um, what we do is we record the meeting. Um, all these Zoom meetings that we're having during this um, coronavirus time, we're recording. So after we record it, we put it on our website. So if you go to the perrypubliclibrary.org website, there's an adult section right at the top. And if you click on that, then underneath it is going to be um, recorded meetings. So just go in there and um, if you want to review any of the charts that Patrick showed us, you can see them right there or any meetings that we've had, it's an easy time to see them if this time wasn't convenient for you or your friends. Um, any ideas you have for meetings that you're looking to find more information on, just call and let us know because uh, we're, we're setting up, it's a, a new ball game for us here. So we're trying to respond and keep you informed. But again, thanks for joining us tonight. And I thank you for Patrick Armstrong from Westminster. And um, I hope you will give him a call if you have any more questions on your uh, strategies. Thanks a lot and have a great day.